This is Ari with Talking Technique and today it's going to be another double whammy of music theory and technique. What's the music theory part? The music theory part is going to be diatonic triads in an open voicing. Sounds beautiful. What's the technique part? Well, if you do stuff in an open voicing, you have to jump over a lot of strings. So that's what we're going to be doing. You briefly explain what diatonic means. There's chromatic, that means all 12 notes, and then there's diatonic, that means just seven notes out of the pool. What are the seven notes? Typically, it's just the notes of a scale. So, for example, G major, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp. Those are the only notes we're going to be using. And what are triads? Very flippantly said there. Play one, skip one, play one, skip one, play one. Now I can do what I just did from every single scale degree and depending on how the chips fall, since I only have those seven notes, I'm going to get either major triads, minor triads or a diminished triad in this case. So you can do this in one position. But uh, you could also do it all across, uh, all, all walking up the bass and that's actually a good thing to do because it helps you uh, see it a little better. Here is my major scale, right? It will have a major triad here, a minor triad here, and for major it's always good practice to start with your middle finger, and for minor it's always good practice to start with your pinky. Okay, so major, minor, and then if you go to the first finger, so here I'm starting my major with the second finger, my minor with the pinky, and then here, first finger for the minor, major with the second finger, and then here's a major with the pinky finger, and then you go up and have these three all in one position. Now, this is a triad in root position. That's just root three, five. Now there's a lot of stuff you can do with a, with a triad. You can invert it. Now I just started, at first I started with the root third, fifth, and I go three, five, eight. Then I can go five, eight, three, right? Those are inversions. That's one thing I can do. And the other thing I can do is I can voice the triad in a different way. So rather than just going root three, five, I can take the three here, for example, port it up the octave, and then I get this gorgeous thing. So that's my third finger here. G, D, and B. So again, here are the diatonic triads up the bass like this. And I suggest you, exam for example, practice these triads, first of all, all in order up the bass. So you can do things. I'm going to flip on my delay pedal just because it sounds cool. So. the diatonic triads in open voicings going from the first to the second to the third and so forth scale degree so in order of the scale in music however many times chords progress in either falling fifths or ascending fourths that is to say leads you to the same note whether you ascend a fourth from the G to the C or you descend a fifth G 
to the C. Okay, so ascending fourth or descending fifth leads you to the same note, G, C, G, C. What we're going to do now is step through the G major scale, but not in order, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but we're going to go in fourths. So if I go from the G and do my open voicing triad and then go up a fourth, that would lead me to the C. Now, if I go up a fourth from the C, that would typically lead me to an F, but hey, F is not part of my G major scale, so it's got to be F sharp. So I'm ending up doing an augmented uh, fourth here, but still a fourth, right? So there is my um, seventh scale degree. And then I'm going uh, to the third scale degree. That's the next one up. And then to the six and two, five, one. Okay, so all I'm doing is not going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but always going up a fourth and then figure out what note that is. And it leads you to exactly that sequence. Again, one. Four, and you can actually make a groove out of it. You can play it with a delay pedal, sounds lovely. The last step that is left to get to exactly what I played in the intro is to play this sequence that I just played earlier, but stay in one position. So I gave myself the assignment to stay in one position and execute this sequence. There are, the way I think about scales or the way I organize the fretboard, there are five positions where I can play this scale. And for each of those positions, I figure out how to execute it without jumping around. Now, I can only do that if I use inversions. I will very briefly demonstrate that for the first position here, but you also have a PDF with this talking technique where you can dive a bit deeper if you like. It has the tab laid out, it has the score, it has the chord um, it's written above. So uh, you're welcome to check that out. So for the G, this is my first area here, and I'm allowed to stay within those four frets. In this area, I don't have to jump up or down, so and this is my assignment. So for the G chord, that's easy to do. I, I can figure this out. And then for the C chord, I'm already in trouble because the open voicing would be C, G, and then the E up here. So I can't do that. Uh, what's another note that I have? What's the lowest note of that triad that I have available? Well, it's out of C, G, and E, it's the G. So I have to use open voicing, so I can't go G, C, E, but I can take that C ported up the octave and then I have G, E, C. Okay? And the next one would be the F sharp diminished chord. That one lies fairly accessibly. It's very easy to see because it's, I don't have to invert. But then the next one would be the B minor triad. And again, if I do uh, start with the B here and F sharp D, then that wouldn't work. So the three notes are B, F sharp, and D. What's the lowest note? F sharp is the lowest note out of those three. The next note in the triad would be B, but I have to port it up the octave, open voicing. So I do F sharp, D, B. If you need some help with the theory, if you want more information, want to go deeper along those lines, I recommend my book, Music Theory for the Bass Player. I'm going to play that sequence for you one more time on my five string. Enjoy. Thanks so much for watching. Cheers.